Hello to all my friends out there. This video is pull your wagon train in tighter. Okay, a good example I can think of is when I was divorcing, I knew I had to start pulling all of our assets on from every corner and I had to start preparing for the eventual time that I was going to leave my husband so we wouldn't be ruined, you know, any worse than we were. So what I did is I started pulling all the money in tight. I started, you know, uh, preparing for my departure. Uh, I, kept, I got the house uh, cleaned up and all ready to go in case I had to sell it. Uh, you know, I worked as much as I could. And, you know, I just prepared for the day when, when I was going to have to leave my husband because I knew I was going to have to. And that day came and I sold my house by 12 noon. And I split all the money straight down the middle and I was gone. Okay, so now what we have is we have a possible food shortage coming. We have a possible uh, increase in uh, cost of living. We have all kinds of things that could be us. you know. Um, we, we could have loss of crops, loss of cattle, loss of hogs, loss of soy, uh, corn syrup is no joke it's in everything it's in coke it's in cereal it's in everything okay so uh right now we have a huge amount of people that have no discretionary income in fact they don't even have enough money for food and then you know the cost of living and the cost of of uh, food is going up and let me tell you these people that rent they don't care they don't care one single bit you know, a couple of the followers have told me that they their rent has been increased and, you know, so then what do you do? You're just living bad, you know? So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your food and you're going to go through all of your food and you're going to take stock of what you have and you're going to create a, a stockpile of food. And um, you're going to get food at the food bank while you can still get it. You know, when I was taking my friend to the, um, the food pantries and stuff, um, one, uh, one we went to, they said, you can do this once in your life. Things could get a lot worse than they are now, and she's already done it once in her life. I couldn't believe that. I go, you know, obviously this person's at risk. And then uh, one place we went to, uh, they said no meat, that's for people with disabilities. Uh, some of the places, you know, you would get one can of meat, one. So, okay, so you want to get what you can get at the food bank. If you can qualify for um, food stamps, get the food stamps and buy the food as soon as you get the food stamp so nothing can go wrong there. You want to take stock of your food and you want to control that food so that if you had to you could pack it up and you could leave. You want to control all your money. You want to start gathering all that money from every corner. You don't want to leave any loose ends anywhere. You want to pull the wagon train in tighter. I believe a lot of people are going to pull, if things start to look dismal, people could pull their money out of the bank. That that could be bad news, too. Um, on the way to the casino, I sat next to a guy uh, pulling his retirement funds, and he said something to the effect, I know, I know, I know, my father just did it last week. So you want to start, you know... Pulling your money from every corner. I'm not saying cash in your retirement. I'm just saying make sure you have full control of all your money, your vehicle. And then what I'm doing uh, starting, you know, this week is what I'm doing is I'm going through everything I own and I'm selling everything that I don't want. And then I'm creating money, you know, in case I need it. And I'm also uh, getting rid of the stuff. I have a massive amount of stuff. And so if that's you, start uh, going through your stuff and start figuring out ways to sell it. Sell it on eBay, sell it on Amazon, sell it in a yard sale, sell it at, um, you know, sell it at, um, 
a flea market, wherever you can, uh, Craigslist, you know, start getting, you know, go through, because that is an asset. That stuff is an asset. And then you want to start controlling your expenses, all of, anything you can think of. And, you know, uh, a lot of people are doing this and they're being very quiet about it. They're not broadcasting it. That doesn't mean they're not doing it, you know. And so, you know, and another thing is you don't want to put yourself in a position to lose any ground, you know, when uh, trouble could be coming. And, uh, you know, pull your, pull your uh, self in tight and safe so that you can't be devastated by uh, any of these food increases. You know, um, I've been, for about a week, I've been posting these really cheap meals. You know, put it into the back of your mind how, you know, the, the first thing is to conceptualize how you could do something. You know, if you've never been broke in your life, that's a good thing. But if you should become broke and you have absolutely no idea how in the hell to do that, that could be bad. One thing I spent months in doing is um, making sure that if I ever had to, I could live in my car. It'd be bad because I have a Corolla. I want to get a van, you know. It'd be easier to pull my stuff out of here. And so start just start putting it into the back of your mind. Okay, uh, what can I do to generate some cash money? Uh, make sure you have water and make sure you have candles. Make sure you're prepared for a three-day uh, power outage to start out with. In a little while here, I'm getting ready to go fill my water bottles. And uh, make sure, you know, your bathtubs are clean. And if, if it's even looking like anything, fill your bathtubs up with water. And, uh, you know, I would suggest uh, subscribing to these uh, prepper channels. I watch one, and he had uh, ham radios. But one thing I would suggest is make sure you have a way to signal for, for help uh, from the ground, you know, so people can find you if something happens, like an earthquake or something. Or, you know, if you get stranded, you know, I think about those people out in those desolate areas that could be caught in floods and, you know, people, I think that would be a big mistake to run somewhere no one could find you in the event of some kind of a, a real catastrophe. I think your best defense is always going to be some kind of cash money. So, okay, you guys, just put it into the back of your mind how you can pull your wagon train in tighter. And I'm going to be going through some of this stuff in the next few weeks, what I'm going to be doing. And over the next week, I'm going to be preparing for the swap meet. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do videos on how I do it. It's really easy. What, what I do is um, I, I throw all the stuff in garbage bags, big garbage bags. And I pack them tight, and then I just throw them out on the ground and let the people go through them, and I sell them. So I want to encourage you guys to do that with your old clothes, your old kids' toys, your old stuff you don't want. And um, get rid of it and start getting some cash for that stuff. Okay, you guys. God bless you all.